Hello everyone and welcome to my page, Messages from Venus. Um, I, today I'm going to do a review of this amazing deck. I got it today. Today is June the 30th. Oh my gosh, I got it in the mail. Um, this deck is a vintage deck. Um, this is the box, which I'm going to keep only because it's so old. Um... But I feel like whoever had the deck before wasn't even using it like that. Like, it has no bow in it. You know how after a while, like, your decks get bowed because you shuffle so much? It just smells like it was just collecting dust. And I got it for a really good price. Like, all in all, uninclusive, like, like shipping and handling, the cost of the deck. I bid it on eBay, and I got it for, like, $71 to be exact. And I've seen other prices for it, and this deck goes for, like, $150, $200, $400 i have seen it for. It's crazy. But this deck, I don't even have, like, the exact name. You know how some Rider-Waite right Smith decks have, okay, the Rider-Waite right Smith Centennial, the Morgan Gurria Rider-Waite right Smith, the, um... Right away, Smith original and etc. This does not have that, and all I got was this box. And this box says the deck of tarot cards, and it's the University Books Inc. New Hyde Park, New York, and it used to be sold for five dollars. Um, that's incredible, and that is amazing. And I will keep this box, and it has the full in the back, and that is the box. And the reason why I got this deck is because who the hell does not want a Rider Waite Smith deck or a deck with a pink onk in the back? Oh my god, look at that. It's beautiful. So I don't know if this was like a special edition. And this is regular Rider Waite Smith. Um, I do feel like this deck is a little bit more blue than others. Like it has more blue. Um, let's see. Um, see, it has more blue in the backs. Really, it's a really blue deck, um, and I feel like the names at the bottom are a little bit bigger. So it's really blue, and not even like the wand cards have um, less color. Like, I feel like the Centennial deck has less color than this deck. It's my other Rider Waite Smith deck, and it's like I said, it's very blue, and it has all of the symbolism except for I realized this. Uh, oh, this is a Justice card. Never mind. This is a Justice. I thought it was the High Priestess. I'm bugging out. Oh my gosh! All right, so it has all the esoteric uh, symbolism in it, and it's a regular Rider Waite Smith. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen the Rider Waite Smith decks, but I just wanted to show off the fact that I have this deck in my possession is amazing. Um, and it's the cardstock, however, I can say is. Oh, they're, they're having a party next door, you guys, so that you guys probably hear their noise. Um, but anyway, they're. Cardstock is not that great, it's like cardboard ish um but i will still be using this deck i will still love this deck in its entirety look at it so that's that and now i'm gonna show you guys how i shuffle the cards and i feel like this is a standard uh size for the cards Let's see so I'm definitely going to be bombarding you guys with videos just so you guys know and so you can shuffle them oh you can shuffle them really nicely and they don't hurt your fingers Let's see and they fit perfectly fine in your hands if you guys can get your hands on a deck like this. So, that's that. This is the Rider Waite Smith Ankh on the Back University Books Inc. produced Rider Waite Smith deck. So, I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.